Okay, so here's a question uh, that a student gave me. Oops. Uh, here's a question that a student gave me. Um, which of the following solutions will have the highest concentration of chloride ions? Highest concentration of chloride ions. So what we need to do, first of all, let's write out here. Concentration is equal to, and it looks like these are all molars, right? Is moles per liter. We know that. All right, and we have a concentration of sodium chloride, for example, is equal to 0 0.10 molar, right? Well, what we have to do before we start is we have to say, what do you mean by concentration of chloride ions? Probably why the student um, didn't like it, right? So concentration of chloride ions, what does that mean? Okay, so what you need to do is you need to think to yourself, this is 0 0.10, watch this, moles of sodium chloride per liter of solution, right? You have to ask yourself, how many moles of chloride ions do I have per mole of sodium chloride, okay? And can you see that the answer here is it's one to one because there's only one here, right? But let's do the same thing for the others and you'll see why it's, it's, it's a good question. Uh, moles of sodium chloride, the next one is magnesium chloride, right? And how many moles of chloride ions do I have for that? The next one is aluminum chloride, moles of aluminum chloride, that's HeCl3. Uh, how many moles of chloride ions do I have for that? And the next one is, I think, calcium, yeah, calcium chloride. How many moles of chloride ions do I have for that? So let's go ahead and I'm going to keep my colors consistent here. How many moles of, if I've got one mole of uh, magnesium chloride, how many moles of chloride ions do I have? See it? There's two of them, right? You see that? So it's two moles of chloride ions. For every mole of aluminum chloride, I've got three. You see that? Okay. And for every mole of calcium chloride, I've got what? Can you see it's two? Okay. So that said, let's go to, um, let's go to, well, you know, we can, let's go to a new page. File, I'm going to add image, I'm going to add that same image, boom, okay, here, okay, now that we've got that, let's say, all right, so let me go back over here for a second, you see it was each of these, these are my conversions, two, three, and so on, okay, let's go back over here now, and let's say, what color am I, am I in, let's go with black, so 0 0.10 molar sodium chloride is equal to 0 0.10 moles of sodium chloride per liter of solution, right? So we've got to do a conversion now. We've got to say for every mole of sodium chloride, how many moles of chloride ions do I have? And this is 1 to 1. These will cross off, and I'll be left with moles of chloride ions per liter of solution, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, so in this case, it's 0 0.10, all right, because it was just a one to one. All right, 0 0.1, this is here, and this is here, okay, so that's 0 0.10. Let's go with a different color now. Let's say 0 0.10 molar magnesium chloride, aha, is equal to 0 0.10 moles of magnesium chloride per liter of solution, right? And so we've got to cross off moles of magnesium chloride and introduce moles of chloride in order to find out how many moles of chloride per liter of solution. Agreed? Okay, so let's go back over here. In our previous page we knew that there were, we saw that there were two moles of chloride for every one mole 
of magnesium chloride. Okay, so can you see that these are going to cross off, and I'm going to be left with moles of chloride, which is what I want, and liters of solution, which is what I want. Okay, and so it's 0.1 times 2. This goes to be 0.2. Can you see that? Okay, so can you see by the same uh, reasoning, let's go back to black now, that for aluminum chloride, if it's 0.1 moles of aluminum chloride, this is going to be 0 0.3 moles of chloride per liter of solution for aluminum chloride because it's 0 0.1 molar, right? And if you, uh, my recommendation is that you go ahead and set this up in parallel just like you did the other two, and you'll see uh, that the answer, well, you know what? I don't even want to tell you what the answer is. You look at this and I think you can prove it to yourself. When you get done, if you set this up properly, you'll be so confident with the answer that, that, that you won't need um, to ask. Well, feel free to ask, but you won't need to, I think. You need to be confident with this. All right, good luck.